What would you do if you were given power from the spirit realm in order for you to help others and heal others here in this physical realm? Welcome back to the Mind is the Outer. I hope you're having a great day or a great night or a great morning. Thank you for subscribing to the Mind is the Outer. If you haven't subscribed to the Mind is the Outer, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button also comment and for those who join the mind is the altar we welcome you with open hands now i know this story is not popular because this story took place a long time ago in a small village in kenya there was this young man you know how every time you wake up around 3 a.m you don't know why there was this young man in a small village. It's not poor, but it's level village. This young man, he wakes up every 3 a.m. and he don't know why. Every, every time he wakes up, it's around 3 a.m. This has been going on for a long time. And one day he decided to, once he woke up, he decided to step outside. So he did step outside and uh, the moon was, you know, full, it was shining bright to where his, the moon was casting his shadow on the ground. The man decided to look around in the middle of the night. He, he heard nothing but cricket. It was just him outside his door, but something was unfamiliar. The neighbors, the house that he knew and the cars they had, was different. The street he was looking at, it was different. It was as almost as he woke up in a different dimension. And now it's three or five. The man decided to, uh, he was spooked up and he didn't know what to do. He decided to go back inside. But when he stepped inside, everything was the same. Nothing is different. Then he stepped outside again. This time, everything still different he went and knocked to the uh, next neighbor his neighbor uh, he's a very friendly neighbor nobody answered the lights were off even though the house looked different so it was just him as he was shocked and he thought that he was tripping or dreaming but he's for sure not dreaming he said i know i'm not dreaming so he reached up in his pocket pull up a cigarette as he was trying to light it the cigarette the lighter didn't work, so he tried to go back inside. This time, the door, his own house, did not open. And this when he heard a lady say, she said, it won't open. He jumped in a heartbeat, and he jumped in, in a shock and scared. He thought it was all alone, but it's like in the middle of the night, who's this lady? So he turned around just to see an uh, elderly lady, mid sixty wearing a white dress with her dark hair. She was not scary. As he is described, she smelled like lavender. And he asked her, who are you? He said, she said, it don't matter who I am, but I have something to show you. He said, no, I'm not following no, no one in this you know, darkness, especially I don't even know you. It's very dark outside. I'm just trying to get back in my house. The village was known as spirits roaming around so then she said there's nothing to be afraid of i want to show you something and he said are you the reason why i'm waking up at 3 a.m she said come i will show you she didn't answer ignoring his question the man decided that to ask if i follow you will i get back home she said yes for sure as he got close she didn't move and she was like close your eyes Nervously, he closed his eyes and then she held his hand and she was like, open your eyes. Next thing you know, they were standing in the ocean, not in the ocean, but he felt the sand on his feet. It was midnight still and they were standing by the ocean. She had a necklace, as you can see in the picture, it looked like that. It was a bone. Uh, and then she, it was like a bone necklace, like it's just a tailbone or something. And she told him to wear it as he did this time after when he wore his, this necklace, he felt 
no fear, no nervousness. She said, follow me. They walked in the water as the water's getting deeper, getting to their waist. He realized that this woman, she said, um, I know you don't know how to swim, but you'll be fine. And he realized that they went deep underneath and he turned around to see this woman. She turned to a mermaid. She said, the necklace will protect you and you will be able to breathe. There's nothing to be afraid of. He did not turn to mermaid, but he had the power to swim faster than a mermaid. So she said, just follow me as they swim down for like almost an hour. He found himself in the underworld, underneath the water. There was like this spirit realm. It was whole. There was another mermaid. It was almost as a village and uh, they can walk and breathe. And he can even hear them talk. He was welcomed there as they were, it seemed like they were waiting for him, according to him. They had a table ready for him. It was a long table. This lady, she said, you trust me? He said, yes, but I just need to get home. I don't know you, but I feel like I should trust you. And then she told him to lay down on the table. And he said, what is this for? The lady said, she called other mermaids and they surround him and they start chanting. The lady said, we are trying to put a protection spell on you and we're trying to heal you. And also, you have work to do. When the spelling is done or healing, the lady said, now you can close your eyes. As he closed his eyes, when he opened his eyes, it was 8 a.m. He found himself laying on bed. The man was relieved that this was just a dream. So what he did is um, he was glad it was just a dream, but he don't know why he kept waking up at 3 a.m. But what he didn't know is uh, it was not a dream. He looked, he looked underneath his pillow. He felt a string, a necklace, the same necklace that the lady gave him, the T-bone ne necklace. And he looked one of his pants. They were wet besides his, his bed. So then he knew that whatever happened, it happened for real. It was not a dream. And if it was a dream, it was some astral realm, vid vid dream, or he went to the astral realm, to the spirit realm, and this happened for real. The next day at 3 a.m., the woman, she came back. He woke up automatically. She came back. He opened the door. She was waiting for him outside. Then she said, are you ready for your work? He said, what is my work? What is it that I'm supposed to do? The woman said, I've been a part of your family for a long time. I'm probably one of your greatest, greatest grandma. The ritual that we performed, it was from your greatest ancestors to protect you. We are in a spiritual warfare. And as you see, the village is suffering. According uh, to this village, it, they had a, their water. They, they were suffering from food shortage. And sometimes if you go fishing, you only get one or two. So the lady said, you are, you are responsible to heal and feed this village and the tailbone the necklace that i gave is for your protection and also for power it will give you power to interact in the spirit realm but you have to be responsible you can't use your power for bad his job was to um go in the um ocean midnight every 3 a.m and Get, collect as many fish as he can in the morning to where he can just feed the village, not knowing where this fish came from. And also he had the power to astral travel at will and heal people. And also he was given the power to do whatever it is if he wants to, um, make, uh, if he wants to pray and make it rain. As long as he have this necklace, he had a great power. Everything he wanted to do. And also it comes with the protection because the lady told him that this necklace that is given to you, there are dark entities that will come for it. 
and they taught him how to protect it. On the morning on his first assignment, the people in the village, they found a lot of fish that was piled up for them to take and feed their family. The man, the man kept this a secret. He didn't want everyone to know he is the one who is responsible of the fish that the village has found. That day, the man, he acted surprised. So the village won't find out about his spiritual realm work. Besides, he knew if the village finds out that he did this, they won't understand. They will not understand his work and therefore they will label him as a witch or, or he's working for the devil. But what he didn't know is the darkness that's come. He didn't know that the darkness that's coming towards this responsible that he had given. He did not know the darkness that is headed his way. Because as the lady said, she told him that with this power, it comes with a great responsibility. The same night as usual, the lady showed up, but this time she was sitting in his bedroom. He got up. You scared me, he said. In shock, he was very scared. Again, it's 3 a.m. The lady said to him, you proved yourself that you can handle this responsibility. But there is one thing you need to do. The lady told the man that he needs to tell the people in his village that he is the one providing the fish. And he can also heal people. He needs to tell them everything and including that he can heal people. The man asked, but then they will say, I am a witch. The lady replied, let them believe what they believe, she replied. The next morning, the man, he waited at the ocean with the pile of fish so the people can see him. He is the one been providing this fish. He is the one they've been working at 3 a.m. to feed his village. Some people were in a shock that is, it was him. And some were happy to learn that they have someone that they can depend on. The man became well known in the village. They praised him. He started healing people. He told them everything, but he did not tell them that he goes in the spiritual work um, to, you know, bring food or provide for them. But he did tell them that he can heal people and he is getting these prayers from the ancestors. He started healing people, teaching people about the spirit realm and how to astral travel. The village they were never, ever in a suffering state again. The village, they were full, they were happy. This has been going for six months until one night. The lady didn't visit him. He sensed something was not right. He sensed darkness. He again woke up at 3 a.m. This time, he went alone to the ocean because the lady, she was always with him. When he went into the underworld ocean, it was empty. No one was there. He never felt so broken. He then, he heard a voice, the lady's voice. My time is up. You are on your own. Don't come back. Here is not safe. The lady, her spirit moved on. Her time was up. Her spirit moved on to a different realm. It was just him and this T-bone necklace that he's given. He still have his power. He still have to provide for his village. He did this for a couple of weeks after this heartbroken um, message that news that he got. He knew it was just him and this uh, power necklace. He did this for a couple of weeks. He didn't go all the way underworld, but he can provide some fish. And then the darkness started. One night he was laying on bed. He 
had sleep paralysis. Every time he sleeps, he takes off his necklace and he put it under his pillow. As soon as he felt like he can't breathe, he can't move. You know how sleep paralysis works. He managed to fight and grab the necklace and then he was relieved. He woke up gasping for air. And the next day, he didn't, have, he didn't feel the urge to go uh, to the ocean. And this time the ocean was running dry. The people were wondering. They came to him, they was like, what's going on? He said, I'm working on it. But what they didn't know is he's behind closed doors. He's fighting his darkness, demons. I guess the woman, that, since she moved on, his protection got weak. Now the demons of darkness start hunting, they started hunting him. The third night, the shadow darkness people had come to him in his room, as he said. He said that he had this, he, he couldn't sleep. He was awake till 3 a.m. and then all lights went off. He said they tried to take the, net, the necklace. Every time they touched the necklace, he can see them born to ashes. But they were very strong to where they paralyzed him. And the next morning he woke up, the necklace was gone. Couple weeks, couple months passed by. The village is still praised this man, but the village is back down to zero. They have no food, they're starving. And some people, they even said he was just fake. The man, he said, all we can do is pray to our ancestors, do not give up. He lost his uh, charm necklace. The man got sick as years passed by. One day, the village, they learned that he did not wake up. It was his time also. He had passed away. The village celebrated his success and his kindness of helping people. But most of the people had moved out of the village since he was uh, no longer alive. And those who stayed there, one day, it was told that one day they found the ocean full of water again. And they found fish, a pile of fish, some people were excited. They believed that the man is still providing for them. There are some people who didn't believe there was him. But those who believed there was him, they took the fish. They went and ate the fish. The next morning, they, there was some complication. There was darkness in the village. Those who ate the fish, they said they heard voices. And some of them, they experienced more paralyzers. They felt like more sleep paralyzers. And they felt like dark shadows were following them. The next day, they learned not to touch the fish. As they went to the ocean, they found blood. But it was not human blood. But it was goat and sheep blood. Then the village, they decided that whoever's using this charm necklace, whoever's responsible, whoever is in control right now, is not a, a good person. It's darkness. And the village... Years and years passed by, everybody moved out. But what they learned that whoever, whatever, whoever took this necklace, this dark shadow, they can't use the necklace in this physical realm. They will have to use somebody who is physically alive in this physical realm. So somebody was given this necklace and who had bad intention to feed souls to the darkness. And that's where they moved out. The village, it became darker and darker and spirit hunting. People seeing uh, dark shadows and everything was just wrong. And now the village is known as the haunted village. No one lives there. It's to believe that if you walked into the village, you will feel presence. You will feel like someone is staring at you. Until today, no one knows who is caring or who is responsible or who has the necklace. But whoever has it. One thing they know. They're using it for dark. Only darkness. They're not using it for good. I want to say. That sometimes. There's a reason why. They say that when. You are given power. You have to be responsible. Sometimes. 
the darkness don't like when people do good. Therefore, it will always distract or interact. And sometimes the darkness will use people who are here in the physical realm. They will use them so they can do their dirty works. And those who are doing this, they sell their soul to work for the dark Lord. I just want to say thank you. And uh, feel free to subscribe, like, comment. I want to talk about uh, the spirit realm and the physical realm. Probably in the next couple of days. If you have been listening till to the end of this video, I just want to say you are a beautiful spirit. And protect your energy.